What's up YouTube fam and welcome back to the channel. Cobra G here once again. Today's resale project, we've got a really nice pair of Bitjoy Classic Golf Shoes in. For these, what we're going to be doing is ripping them right down to the bare bones, rebuilding up with a new welt, new exacto leather sole, and a new rubber heel. Alright guys, you know what to do. Keep watching to see how it turns out. Ladies and gents, welcome back. So what we're going to be doing now is just the breakdown process for these. We're just going to remove these old cleats. Now these are just screwed in to a plate that's held on underneath. Pretty dirty. Let's feel the grass and the mud from the course. I'll try and clean these all up. The ones at the heel are held on a little bit differently, I'll show you that at a later stage. Right, cleats removed, now it's time to tear this bad boy down. So there's our individual cleat areas. So they just screw in individually on each of these parts of the heel. We're going to keep this, save it, pop it aside. We're going to use it to trace a pattern when we're making our new heel top. Let's get rid of all these old nails. Rusty ass nails. Alright, we're just going to remove this old heel block now. These are pretty heavily screwed on, these ones with big ass nails, so it takes a couple of minutes just to pry this off. What we're going to be doing as well is keeping this as it's plastic, it's good for water resistance on the course. No point putting leather on because the leather will just absorb all the water and give way a lot easier, a lot quicker than this will. So break all the gold glues here and get it past these nails. Now this is my workout for the day. I should add some porridge. Done. And we got some more rusty ass nails in here. Right, we're just going to create a little channel here. A little bit easier access to where the stitches are.
stitch is cut, so it comes off. Right guys, so this is our metal plate. This is what the cleats sit in. So we're just gonna keep that, pop that to one side, and reuse that for the new ones. Yeah, there's a little bit of rubber sheeting in here. I guess this is just to help with a little bit of water resistance. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop in a rubber midsole just to help out with that. There's our old rusty ass shank. Give that a wee clean up. It's actually in good condition, so we're reusing that as well. And we're gonna clean out all this cork area. Heavily compressed. Very, 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 very wrecked. So yeah, pop in a nice fresh layer once that's all removed. And we're gonna go ahead, take out all these old nails at the back here. This old rand and this old welt. as well with it being plastic again more water resistance help all right let's get this old welt removed it's pretty dry pretty muddy definitely need of repair but some parts of it have actually split so it's best to see it's just so dry and cracked it's coming off already So you see this little plastic wrap that we've got here? What this is, for those of you who are new here and not sure what this is, when the shoe is originally made at the factory, what they do is they wrap the upper in this plastic material just to protect it when they're working on the sole area. So once you peel off where the old welt was, you sometimes find wee bits like this just underneath. Alright guys, so that's our shoe completely stripped down. Now what we're going to be doing now is using a bit of saddle soap and some cleaner and we're going to give the uppers a good clean, try and get rid of all this dirt and crap that's on them. It's also the best time to do this is just now because all where the welt covers, it's all muddy, dry, dirty and cracked. So this is a good time to put some conditioning back into here before we put the new welt on. Alright guys?
Alright guys, it's that time again. Welted time. Cork time guys, so some Flexifil bottom filler cork here. I'm just gonna pop a nice fresh layer in here. Before I forget, shank needs to go in. And now we can pop the rest of the cork in. Alright, cork is all sanded flush, so now time for some glue. Right, midsole is all glued up, heated up, ready to go. Right, now to punch some holes in this sole. So what I've gone ahead and traced where the old pattern was. We've punched some holes into the paper and then we've transferred the paper onto there so we get the exact precise location of each of the cleat holes.
Okay, so that's our plate in, and we're just going to stick this down now. I like to work from the front to the back, doing it this way, just so we can get the first cleat in the centre of the shoe. Alright guys, it's time to get groovy. I'm going to be running a 270 degree groove using the groover tool here. Right, now we're just going to refill our bobbin before we stitch these. It's got a pretty cool function on this machine here. Attach this in, wrap it around a few times, and then we've got a little button here that we push and we refill. Right, the bobbin is reloaded and we're ready to go. Now that was quite thick for the machine to stitch through and it's managed to do both shoes with no issues. So that's pretty decent. Happy days! Right, heel cleats are in place. New top left is on and we're going to stick this down now.
Alright guys, just like that we're done with another project. So for these Food Joy Classics this time around we ripped them right down to the bare bones, rebuilt them up with a new leather welt, rubber midsole and executive leather sole on top. Cleaned, polished and conditioned the uppers, gave them a nice shine and got rid of all the dirt and crap that was on them there. So guys as always drop me a little comment and let me know what you think about the job. If you haven't already hit that like button it helps other people see this. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Alright guys, I'm Cobber G. You've been legends. Mad respect to you. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.